everyone! Welcome back to Inner Beauty Buzz. I'm Mariam. Today I want to talk to you about breast cancer. So October is the month that awareness is brought to the subject about this disorder, this disease. And I would like to discuss with you my take on the actual prevention method. What is the prevention so that we can stop all this craziness? So cancer uh, is increasing, the, the rates are increasing year by year. And uh, we're not really working on the deeper solution. So what is that deeper solution? When why are we not looking at it from that perspective and addressing it? Now I think that's really important because as a mother now I want my kids to know and understand themselves emotionally, physically, mentally, and always. And I believe that what's happened is we've sort of disconnected ourselves from the physical part. So we have a physical body, and then the emotions are separate, and then our thoughts are separate, so that we're not understanding that there's a connection between all three and even there's even more levels of that. So the thoughts, what you're thinking, how you're thinking, what you use your words you're even using to to speak, what are you what do you talk about? Like what are those you use your words you're choosing to use to say about yourself, to say about others? Uh, do you put yourself down a lot? Do you tend to judge people a lot? Like, so now also that creates emotions so emotions we have lots of different emotions as human beings and that's really uh, fantastic that gives us a very interesting perspective on life but um, we also have a tendency to kind of linger in the negative emotions and the dramas and and the grudges and gossip and resentment and this has a very heavy energy and this heaviness of these emotions actually stores itself and it's in, in your body because they're all linked, remember? So over the years, you'll find that you will start having disorders and maybe something's malfunctioning over here and this is not working as good as it used to and I'm having something happening in my heart and then, oh yeah, there's a lump here I found in my breast. And so now the body is speaking to you. It's saying, hey, look human being you are out of balance and you need to get yourself in check look at your thoughts look at your emotions and find out what's happening i'm not happy so whenever your body is out of balance it talks to you so if you have a headache it's telling you something if you have a lump in your breast it's telling you something so are you aware of what it's ta talking to you about do you know what it's telling you so this is the next step. This is the actual prevention method. So understanding what your body is saying before it even gets to that level. So now the thoughts and the emotions and the body. So connecting all three of those together and understanding that a healthy body means that there's a healthy mind and a healthy mind also reflects on the physical body. So now how do we work towards that? Well, one, understanding the power of positive thinking. So yes, you can think about positive things and also learn how to stop yourself from thinking about negative things because there's a tendency to worry so much people are worrying and they're stressed out and how is this going to happen and how am I going to be able to do that and and this person said this about me and there's all this like tension and and that's weighing a lot in your life and now you need to know what are the the ways to transform that so that you can get yourself out of those habits and change um, on a deeper level so that your body can uh, shine and be beautiful and healthy so it's our birthright to be completely in normal health that's our birthright so this understanding this attitude that oh it's normal to have a disorder or it's normal to have uh, migraines all the time or it's normal to have a pain in my back and to have five discs out of place and that's not normal guys that is not normal we are supposed to be healthy so now how do we get there how do we transform those things and to come to, to a state of being where we are connected with our thoughts emotions and the physical body to have the best life possible so that we can avoid all those uh, diseases and disorders that create a lot of pain and suffering and uh, hurt and take us away from enjoying the real moments of life so what is really the prevention? What is the true prevention towards breast cancer, other cancers, other diseases, illnesses out there? Well, one is managing the thoughts. So understand what's going on in here. What's going on? So becoming more aware. So understanding the power of positive thinking, what's happening in your mind, the words you choose to speak. So before you say something bad or negative to someone or to something, find another way to say it. 
that's huge energy that's very important as well and three is understand the emotions so we tend to keep ourselves in quite a, a negative emotional state so sadness feeling insecure fear worry doubt uh, resentment and hatred um, anger anger is a very strong one so all of these have impacts on your mental health and also your physical health so learning how to transform those into something more positive so forgiveness is also an important step there as well and the third um, the third part or the fourth part is now understanding that the environment that we live in also has an effect on our physical body so cancer can be linked to the environment so environmental toxins so understand like your home the chemicals you're using to clean and what's happening um, where you work like are you working in a chemical factory or a paint factory or is there a lot of smoke happening uh, around you on a daily basis so that has an impact on your physical body as well the environment and the what you're putting inside what you're ingesting what are you, foods you're eating so now you have to remember that a lot of the things that you're buying at the store can be processed can have uh, preservatives and other chemicals to for coloring purposes, for flavoring purposes, um, and that has an effect on your body over time. It's a fact. Also, junk foods, uh, fast foods, eating a lot of sugary foods. Now, doctors have even confirmed now that sugar feeds cancer. So if you have a high sugar diet, then you need to look at that because that's creating a very acidic environment and lots of disorder can take place in the body with acidic environments. So, Keeping your body alkaline is the key. So how do you do that? Well, you can drink lemon water, you can eat more uh, green leafy vegetables, wheatgrass is a great one, anything that has uh, any greens in it, um, and managing. So I, my tip is eating foods that are closest to nature as possible. If you want fresh lemonade, go and get the lemons, the honey, some water, and make it as opposed to buying something that's preserved at the store that has high sugar intake at the store so doing things as naturally as possible living as naturally as possible understanding the power of the thoughts and and also the impact of the emotions on the body so this is the real prevention and i highly i believe in this i know it's true and i i deal with clients on a daily basis and i see them transform their lives through understanding themselves in this way it's a different perspective of life and coming to connecting with yourself on, on a deeper level and knowing your truest self and with that awareness how to change things and transform things for the better. So we all want to be happy and we all want to have joyous lives and we want to share special moments with the people that we love. And that's everybody's birthright and uh, you want that, I want that, everybody wants that. So let's do that, let's work towards that so that we can have that all the time. So thank you for watching and um, thank you for subscribing to my channel for those of you who have done so. So I'm 60 subscribers. Yeah! <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate it and I'm honored that I can offer you something um, different, something that maybe uh, adds some value to your life. So I would like my content to be something uh, um, valuable, something that you can use in, in, in your daily life and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and i'm also on instagram on twitter and facebook so please do check out my blog innerbeautybuzz.com and thank you for watching and stay tuned there are lots of interesting things coming up and big collaborations happening now especially on the arabic front so thank you again and in the meantime stay beautiful bye